welcome back to another vlog let me know down below in the comments how you're feeling how your week has been what you've been up to it's 2 40 a.m right now so if i'm really tired i am sorry this video is a part of my personal series on this channel basically if you're not familiar train i do individual videos from time to time i haven't done an Alyssa's bootleg diy video in a while so today i'm going to be making a bunch of dollar tree diys and i'm so excited to show you because i've been working super super hard on this video these are perfect for valentine's day which is coming up or a birthday present or just any occasion honestly and if any of you decide to create any of these then please tag me or send it to me dm it to me because whenever i open a message like that my heart I didn't feel like doing my makeup today, so you guys are gonna have to deal with me looking like this. This is from the 99 cent store. These are from the 99 cent store. This is from the 99 cent store. These cute little mason craft jars. These are from the 99 cent store as well. Don't let all of this make you think that this is a really expensive project because you guys know me, I try to be as budget friendly as I possibly can, so don't worry. This will be super easy. This will be budget friendly. Yeah, this is what I'm working with today. Let's see if I can manage to make something out of all these pieces. All right, homie. So to start off this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can paint literally any photo in your camera roll without any artistic skill whatsoever. If you have a lover or friend or friends with benefits, who is in need of some banging wall art from the heart, then this gift will be perfect for them. For this first wall art idea, I'm gonna be using my iPad, but you can just use your phone or computer if that works better for you. And the app that I'm using right now is PixArt. All right, so I just picked this picture and I screenshotted it from my Instagram. And this is one of my favorite photos of us because it's a silhouette. And I just really like the memory of how we took this picture because we actually used a self timer. And I just overall really like this picture. So I wanna make this into a cool little painting, but the thing is I am not good at painting. Alright, so first things first is I crop the photo and I'm going to go to the effects tab and then they have a bunch of different options here. So you can do oil painting and as you can see, okay, hopefully you guys can see this, but as I adjust it on this little slider right here, you can see that it kind of turns it into a little oil painting. But what I want to do is a little bit different. So I'm going to go to the watercolor tab. Okay, so as you guys can see from the before, and the after when i add this effect it adds a bunch of different colors so there's some orange over here some pink some greens and some darker blues and i know it looks a little bit funky but i'm gonna adjust it i'm not gonna have much lines i'm gonna add a bit of contrast and i'm gonna adjust the fade all the way to the left and i'm gonna leave the brightness around here and i know it looks kind of tacky right now and it looks like there's a bunch of rashes on my body but what i really wanted is this color here in the sky so after adding the watercolor effect this is where the catfishing really begins so the watercolor effect makes it look like a painting but obviously you can still tell that it's a little bit edited so we're not going to stop here ladies and gentlemen so remember how i told you that the effect brought out more colors in the photo and now all you have to do is paint over your photo with the exact same color and the reason i said earlier that you don't really need any artistic skill for this is because as long as you use similar colors you really can't mess up with this because the outline of your painting is already printed out and it's really cool because since we use the watercolor effect you can kind of get away with skipping out on certain details of the painting and it'll still look really great if there is anything hard about this project it would be blending but trust me it's still super easy i don't know what i'm doing half of the time i just mix mutual colors and call it a day i showed this to trey and he was like whoa i didn't know i was having sex with picasso this whole time Our next DIY is the sexy looking calendar. I know we're in a digital world now, okay, and we have stuff on our phones like Google Calendar and all these different apps, but having a physical calendar kind of just gives off the illusion that you have your shit together. If you get this calendar, your skin will clear up, you'll get that job that you've been looking for, you'll get that relationship that you've been striving for, whatever it is, money back guarantee, and I can say that because it was a dollar. I always see these super cute and aesthetic minimal custom calendars on Pinterest, but they retail for $50. So to mimic this look, I'm going to be painting the clipboard to make it a darker color. And since I'm a cheapskate, I'm only painting the sides that are visible because I don't want to waste paint. And I'm going to be designing the calendar in this app called Over. So I use I used this photo of us in Santorini and I cropped it into a square and tried to position it the same way that it looked in the Pinterest calendar. Then to create the font, I used the Fonto app. Now you can go wild with this one, okay? Use whatever font you want and use whatever color you want. Just feel free to get creative with it. I feel like that's the funnest part of this whole process is making it your own or catering it to the interest of whoever's receiving this gift. I screenshot a free calendar template off of Pinterest and I edited it a bit just to make the numbers look a little bit more bold. I made the background transparent and I added everything to the over app printed it out and it was all good to go. Hello! Sorry for interrupting the video. 
video you guys thank you so so much if you're still watching i still have a couple more diys for you guys but i just wanted to say that if you're still watching please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and share my tiktoks and like my tiktoks and okay i'm asking for all this clout right now but i'm just working really really hard and i just really hope that you guys like it and i'm really nervous to post this video because this is one of my first diys that i actually am really really proud of if you guys can just give it a like and share it or not it's up to you i'm not gonna force you to do anything that you don't want to do Alrighty, so the next items that I have are from the burr, 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 Dollar Tree and 99 cent store, 99 cent only store. So this one is the one that I got. Hi, hold on. Hello. If you guys follow me on Instagram or if you've been following us for a while, then you guys remember my birthday surprise that I did for Trey about two years ago or a year and a half ago. In that video, I showed you guys how I used a projector to kind of cheat the system and do my little bootleg DIY because I'm really bad when it comes to sketching. So I used a projector to pretty much project the image that I wanted onto that huge poster. And I did a really cute Polaroid thing. If you guys want to watch that, go ahead and watch it. But don't judge me because I sound really weird in that video. But for this video, I wanted to give you guys another cool little DIY like that where I really utilize the projector because I haven't used it in a while. So all the DIYs that I made in this video was my first time making it. I might have done like a little variation of it in the past, but everything was pretty much the first cut. So I didn't try to make it before just to see how it would turn out. I pretty much just trusted my gut and went for it. So uh, hopefully I can test my luck with these and these will turn out really cute. I looked on Pinterest and looked up some quotes and cute sayings with patterns because I feel like that would look really cute on this as kind of like a wall centerpiece or something. I don't know. We're gonna try our best, let's go. Actually, I think I'm gonna put it over here. All right, homies, first things first, you want to grab your projector, set that bad boy up, do a little happy dance, and then grab a cute little picture that you would like as a design. I got the cheapest projector that I can find off Amazon, so I'm not going to lie, it's not that great when it comes to making smaller things. It's really good when you want to make a big poster, but since the wooden heart that we are using is kind of small, I feel like the design kind of has to be big and detailed enough on its own, if that makes sense. You should obviously get creative with it if you and your friend have like a cheesy word that you guys say, or a little inside joke, or a show that you watch and you want to use the icon for that show anything that's a memory with that person you can go ahead and use that or just put anything that you think would look cute i personally could not think of anything because i'm running out of ideas so for the aesthetic purposes of this video i am going to put good vibes why does my forehead look so big i should just put my face on it special to me because it involves food and I think my baby fever really came out with this one because my main thought the whole time I was making this was a baby shower so it's this little snack bag which I think is so cute as an add-on for a gift basket and I don't know about you guys but when I was making these I kept thinking of those little baby shower treats so using the overwrap I just paste and crop my images into these little squares I printed them out folded them in half cut them and hot glue the plastic shut and I know it would have been ten times easier to just use label paper but they don't sell that at my Dollar Tree all right I will say it's not the worst looking thing in the world I'm gonna try to be a little bit optimistic about it and say you know if there was like more treats around it and stuff and maybe if you stuck to like just one pattern it would be really cute like say like your daughter had a little birthday party and the theme was rainbow or space or something you can kind of make everything the same but my favorite one is this thing my boyfriend doesn't like cookies so i am giving him hot cheetos we're huge hot cheeto fans and he don't give a about this aesthetic shit, so i just put his face on it i feel like i should write something funny on it i can put two and then his face is here and then from and then put my name or i can put like eat my ass or something Alrighty, so that is it for today's video if you are still here comment pizza so i can see how many people stayed till the end of the video seriously thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video please let me know down below which one of these diys was your favorite Ooh, what the heck Hey, are these for me? No, it's for the video. I have a different gift for you for Valentine's Day. Yeah, wait, so they're not for me? I have my own gift for you. For so, but can I have this? I can have it? I didn't know it was going. How did you even do this? You part of the CIA? What'd you do? I feel like it. 
I love it actually. Okay, that's your gift then. 